So it's one thing to understand that everything's connected through the Internet of Things, but it's a whole other thing to understand how to get there to actually build the connectivity. And I'm here with a division of CyberVision. They've created an open source platform for IoT called Ka, and this is the CTO from Ka, Andrew Kropowski. Andrew, welcome to the App Resource Connect. And you were telling me that you saw an opportunity a little while ago. CyberVision's got a, a great track record in the industry, but you saw the need to create something that would reach the rails for IoT. Yes, exactly. We've been working in this industry with the pioneers in this space for quite a while. And what we noticed was the fact that many companies were doing and redoing exactly the same functionality. They were building the same backend. And this is not something people were really love doing, right? They love thinking about it's their... pretty heavy lifting, for sure. Yeah. Right. They love doing about their shiny new products and how they bring them to the market, how they succeed, and so on and so forth. So all this sort of backend stuff... Uh, they think to be like rudimentary or secondary, but then it uh, may become a problem for them. So we want we wanted to see our customers successful in their spaces, and that's why we saw that there was a space in the uh, IoT open source community that wasn't occupied, and that's how we came up with Scott. Very nice. Now you're looking at we talk about app marketing, the full life cycle of an app, and so many different pitfalls that a person could experience. How does your platform enable an app to or someone to use the platform and, and skip over some of the big hurdles in the process? Well, the way we designed it is to enable the rapid development of innovative applications. So um, uh, you start the design by setting up the cluster and it immediately gives you the capabilities of the platform, such as uh, getting the device identity out of the uh, deployment, out of the world, into your great database. You can manage these devices, you can configure them, you can get telemetry data, you can troubleshoot in the field, uh, you can make them talk to each other. So all of that uh, functionality is readily available in the platform and it's battle tested and it's ready for production. Okay. So that's the nicety of using uh, software, any software, but what makes it even better as an open source is the fact that you're receiving um, new features, you're receiving new updates, and you're sure. receiving bug fixes for free, basically from having the community and having the other companies work on the same stuff as you. So this is a very short introduction to what can be achieved by using Ka open source platform. Um, we actually wanted this to be as eye-catchy as possible, definitely, and uh, for people to, to understand what's going on. Um, there are 17 applications on this stand. Uh, some you will see, the others are in the cloud. So they enable about a dozen various scenarios from the life of a smart city of tomorrow. Um, so there are various sectors in here. There is uh, smart energy. There is smart advertisement, uh, there is smart home, there is car telemetry, um, and then uh, there is smart city services which control traffic lights, street lights, and so on.